everyone, welcome once again to my channel. This is Intuitive Edge, thanks for joining me. So I wanna take a look at this issue that I heard about with President Trump announcing a class action lawsuit against the CEOs, Mark Zuckerberg, and Dorsey, Facebook and Twitter. So I wanna take a look at this and see what the cards have to say. What's gonna be taking place with this? Is it gonna go anywhere? And how successful will this be? So initially, I did take a look at the cards last night just to see. Uh, last night, the announcement hadn't been made yet, and I wondered, so what is this announcement going to be tomorrow? Because everybody's talking about Donald Trump's going to make a big announcement on the 7th. What is it going to be? And people were speculating, oh, he's going to be launching his own uh, social media platform. So that's what everybody has been talking about. Is it going to be that? So when I laid the cards out last night, um, I thought it was kind of curious that we got the devil card crossed by the king and I thought oh So something about the king representing President Trump was gonna be taking on the devil and uh, So he also had some really good cards in there um, He had the chariot card on the environment, which is like taking action swift action. There was um, a ten of cups, which is extremely favorable on Donald Trump himself with this and also in the like what you really want or what you really wish for had the ten of swords which is endings so i'm like well he wants to put an end to something so and then the eight of wands was the outcome which was reversed which generally to me is like okay it's something that's coming but it's not roll, rolling out like right now it's it's going to take a, a little bit of time to roll it out, but it's coming in the near future. So it was interesting how the cards lined up with what the announcement was this morning. But I wanna lay out some cards today, now that we know what President Trump has announced, and just see, what do the cards say? Is it going to be successful? Is he going to, um, is there gonna be a lot of people joining this class action suit? So I have a lot of questions, and I'm gonna write down some questions and shuffle the cards, and we'll get started and take a look at this. Okay, so we have a lot of ground to cover with this. I wrote out a lot of questions. Usually I have six or seven or maybe eight. I wrote out 11 questions because I want to cover a lot of ground with this. So hopefully I'll try to run through this and not be terribly lengthy video. So that's my aim. Okay, so um, first out, let's see. Will this class action lawsuit go forward? Is it going to be a thing? Okay, let me, let me pull out a few cards here and then we'll talk about what we have. Oh my goodness, okay, so I laid out all the cards, just laid them all out, what am I looking at? So we'll go through them one by one. This is awesome, okay? <laughs> I'm excited to see how this unfolds, but I'm excited. Anyway, all right. So, uh, will this class action lawsuit go forward? So this is the card of weighing your options and calculating, uh, do this, should I do this, should I do that? Uh, it does look like it has some momentum going forward. Um, will people join in the lawsuit? Now we have this one of the most positive cards in the deck, the sun. So yes, people are going to be joining this lawsuit, I do think. Um, perhaps a lot of people. Um, all right, what will happen to Facebook as a result? Now we've got the Knight of Wands. So this is telling us that there's some action that will be taken. And knights sometimes tell us that there's there's more to the story around the corner. We don't see everything right now, um, but this is a, a card of taking action. So there's some type of action. I don't know if they're gonna do a countersuit. I don't know what Facebook has an idea of, but uh, so there's some type of action coming. Okay, what will happen to Twitter as a result? Now we've got this card, this is a card of an opportunity, but it's also a card of vision, kind of looking forward. And so I'm wondering if they're gonna be revisioning or restructuring or looking at uh, how they wanna to, to establish themselves moving forward. So they may be rethinking some things, revisioning perhaps. Okay, uh, what will, uh, let's see, that was four. What is the main thing that will stand out or be noticeable? Um, and I just wanted to know, you know, what, what are we going to see with this? Is there going to be something that 
Is this going to be like the biggest class action lawsuit ever? Is there something that's going to stand out? Now, what's interesting about that, we had this card upside down. I'll show it to you upright, though. It's the Queen of Swords. Now, that's the card of, of getting to the bottom of things and uh, not tolerating any funny business. Um, but what's interesting about her upside down is um, she can be really nasty upside down. And so that's the, the one thing that might stand out about this or be noticeable. Perhaps it's going to really get ugly. Um, perhaps it's going to get mean and nasty. Maybe people are going to be playing dirty. I don't know. But she's she's not nice when she's upside down. So that could be something that stands out about this. Okay. Next is what will surprise us about this lawsuit. We have another queen. This one came in upright. We have the queen of wands. She's a card of solid taking action. Um, being very, very grounded and very solid. Um, and if that's going to surprise us about the lawsuit, hmm. Okay, so I'm trying to drill into what this is with regard to what will surprise us about this lawsuit. And what I'm sensing is it may have something to do with how much information that these tech giants, Facebook in particular is the one I'm thinking of, have, how much information they have and they store on people. I think it's going, there's going to be some discovery or something's going to come out that's going to really surprise people at the, the level and the depth of what these companies hold and how they portray themselves um, and I, I, I heard like data mining, like it's, like it's, it's, it's to get information about people. And I think that's going to really come out. And I think that's going to surprise a lot of people that it may even surprise people that that actually comes out. But how much this is we're going to take this from you and we're going to present this back to you, but we're really just collecting and gathering information and, and stuff that we're storing about you. Um, I think that's going to surprise people when that really starts to become known. I mean, I think people know that to some degree. It's about getting your information. It seems like whenever you're on Facebook, they always want you to update where you live, update where you work, update who you're with, update where you've been. It's like they, they want to like track everything and know everything about you. Um, but I think that's going to come out with this like a, in a big way. And that's probably going to surprise people. Okay. All right. Next. Wow. All right. Seven. What do we need to know about this lawsuit? Oh my gosh. So sitting right next to that queen is this card reversed. Now, I'll show it to you upright. This is the King of Pentacles. This card, when it's upside down, it is a nasty card, okay? Same with the Queen of Swords upside down. They're both nasty. But he is like, when he's upside down, it is like the card to symbolize corruption at its core. Um, malfeasance, um, greed, hypocrisy, everything that you can throw in a word that describes somebody who's devious in nature. That's that's the King of Pentacles reversed. And that is, what do we need to know about this lawsuit? That's so, I think it's going to either get dirty, get nasty, with this nasty Queen of Swords upside down, but it's also going to expose that at the same time. So this is going to get really juicy, I'm afraid. Or maybe I'm not. That could get fun. Okay. All right. Now, number eight, outcome for President Trump. Very good card. We've got the high priest. This is the hierophant. So that's a very positive card. Upright, major arcana, strong. So outcome for President Trump looks pretty good with this. And honestly, I don't think President Trump would dive into something unless he knew that he was 
you know, that he knew for sure that he had the winning hand, okay? So I think he does, and I think he knows that. I don't know what he's got up his sleeve, but okay. All right. Outcome for those who join the lawsuit. So everyday people who had their channels taken down off of Twitter, like myself, or, you know, who had their livelihood, their, you know, all of a sudden they wake up and you're, boom, you're gone. No warning, nothing. Some people didn't get any warnings. I didn't. It was just I woke up and my channel was gone off Twitter. Um, so there's a messenger coming on that. Huh. Outcome for those who join the lawsuit, there's a message. Wonder what that message is. It's telling us that there's something coming around the corner that we don't see yet, but it's going to uh, Page of Pentacles. It's a message about value, money. Uh, I wonder if there's a message about money with that. I, I mean, class action lawsuits, you don't really get much. You just basically win and get vindicated, uh, usually you get a pittance <laughs> might get a check for two dollars and 12 cents in the mail uh anyway i don't know in this case i don't know but there's something about money perhaps related to how this is going to affect people monetarily or value but there's a message on though on that so and we did have the sun on people joining so i do think there will be a lot of people joining this lawsuit okay so um what is President Trump's goal intention with this lawsuit? I, I loved it when I saw this card. So we have the magician. Now, magician is taking everything at your disposal and basically alchemy. It's blending everything that you have and creating something new. So President Trump's intention or goal with this lawsuit and if I was to step out on a limb and take a wild stab at this, and if I was thinking like President Trump, which I don't pretend to know how to do, but if I knew how to do that, I would say that he's probably wanting to own them for what they did to him uh, and how they targeted him. So, and with that magician card, you're basically taking something, reworking it, remaking it into something brand new. And you're basically throwing it all together like a big, it's all of your ingredients in a cake batter. You throw everything together, you mix it up and you bake it and it's something totally different than all the ingredients separately. So that's what his intention is, is to do something like that, to remake it, to change it, structure it differently. So we, we may see something along those lines perhaps. Um, overall outcome for this lawsuit, we have the two of cups this is a good card it's a card of coming together it's a card of partnership exploration uh looking to partnership partnering with people underneath this we've got the ace of wands which is a card of new beginnings and creative ventures so there is something definitely up with this and i think we're going to be i think people will be paying attention to this um, at least I will be for sure as it goes through its cycle. Uh, it does seem to have legs. It does seem to want to get up and go. So we will see and we'll be following this as it goes. But look for things to look for some good old fashioned mud slinging. Uh, it could get quite interesting to see uh, the twists and turns. I think Facebook has something up their sleeve. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to do a countersuit or something or maybe they're just going to you know, bash Trump some more, you know, because they haven't done that enough yet already. So um, anyway, all right, I guess that's it for this. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. We'll keep an eye on this. Have fun out there and uh, leave a comment if you're planning on joining this. It'd be interesting to see or maybe not. Maybe keep that a secret under the vest until you, until you decide to take the leap. All right. Take care, everybody. We'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge. Bye for now.